Hey, Jeff here with Digital Trends to give you a quick look at the new software for the BlackBerry Playbook. This is an original playbook. Uh, we got it about a year ago, last April 2011, when uh, the unit came out. And we just loaded the new software in. You can check for updates if you have a playbook of your own uh, right in the settings menu. So, there are a few additions to the settings menu. There's an accounts tab um, and a few other options scattered throughout. But the big thing for this update, which is free to everyone, by the way, um, this update has contacts, calendar, and email applications. So previously you had to use a web browser or something if you wanted to check your Gmail or, uh, or whatnot, whatever, whatever email you use. Uh, not so much anymore. So now uh, it's built into the unit and you can do it there. So there are a few other visual enhancements as well. We'll kind of talk a little bit about those maybe. But first, this is the Contacts app. So you can open it right there. And you can scroll through all the contacts. It aggregates contacts from Twitter, Facebook, LinkedIn, and uh, any email that you, that you put in. I put, I put in a Gmail. So, as you can see, it doesn't link contacts very well. This is my cousin Erica. And uh, as you can see, there's at least four or five different versions of her uh, among the different services. Each tab has uh, different things. There's status updates. So this should show any recent status updates. It doesn't update very well uh, yet. There's news. There's just no news about Erica. This tab doesn't seem to fill up uh, much. Meetings, I don't have any meetings scheduled with Erica. And uh, some people and places that you might have in common. So this app overall isn't extremely helpful. It might be good if you're looking up somebody want to find their, their um, name really quick. Here's a blog I follow. But the information isn't that great, especially um, a lot of people come up completely blank, like here's my mom. And it doesn't even have the cell phone number that, that was uh, should have been in my Gmail. So this app is, all right, there's still a few issues to it. We'll move on to the calendar really quick. Uh, the first big problem we had, we were importing Gmail and it didn't import any of our Gmail calendars. So they're just not syncing right. It's synced to Facebook Calendar. And um, when it does work, it's kind of cool. Days that you have meetings are actually show a little larger on the screen there. You can pull up different meetings and such there. You can change the view. Uh, you can show today. We don't have a ton of meetings in here. Here's something from, oh, you can add an appointment there can blow up a day like that. You can add a new appointment just like that. There's a lot of options. It uh, seems to work pretty well. Um, again though, if you're adding Gmail, I have multiple Gmail calendars. It's only showing just the one. And uh, I'm not sure which one it is because it's not even showing really any. It looks like just uh, my personal Gmail is showing up there. So that's uh, already a problem with that. Um, if we can get that syncing working or they can patch it or something like that, um, maybe none of you have this issue. Uh, that would be quite a nice app. It's a good calendar app, one of the better ones uh, I've seen. And finally, the Messages app is basically an email app. Uh, with a f It also connects up to some social networks. You can hear a, uh, I don't know if you can hear outdoors there, but uh, you so this is connected up to my Gmail. Here is a message from RIM this morning saying that uh, this is available. So you can actually respond to that. And as you can see, the editor here, it's difficult to see, but you can uh, bold text, you can type text. This is cool. It does some predictive text to meet you. So you can type whatever you want there. Uh, and then you can also select text. 
you can copy it, cut it, uh, you can change the color, change the font. So there's a lot more options than most mobile uh, email apps, which is pretty nice. So we don't really have a ton of complaints um, yet uh, for the main functionality of this app, which would be to write emails. We'll discuss that. So you can check different uh, emails. I'm not going to go into my email because there's other people in there. Um, so you can connect up to the different accounts. Here's my Twitter. So this just has your direct messages on Twitter, LinkedIn. It'll show messages on LinkedIn and Facebook. You can also directly write emails straight to Facebook. You can compose a Facebook message. This doesn't have the editing because Facebook doesn't support that. You can compose, I'm assuming this is a direct message on Twitter. Uh, same thing with LinkedIn. So this works pretty well. So we'll get rid of a couple of these. Some of the problems we've had, uh, it still shuts off apps. If you open too many apps, uh, it'll shut them off. They don't really seem to freeze in the background. Uh, browser works pretty well. We haven't had too many issues with it. And uh, we like that you can now make folders. You can drag a folder, name it, do whatever you want there. You can readjust, put things in there just like that. So that's all great. And uh, that is a pretty good overview of a lot of the big changes. App World looks a little bit different. I'll show you real quick. But uh, the apps are still, you know, there's some good ones there. Still a little lacking compared to the, the major guys. But overall, that is the new BlackBerry Playbook 2.0 interface.